What's going on guys? Orange Form coming at you guys today again with another video. Today I'm going to be talking about um, a guy that, a player that the Detroit Lions just signed, yet, signed yesterday. Um, Reggie Gilbert, um, outside linebacker, um, edge, 28 years old. Um, the reason why I want to talk about this guy I don't really like talking about people that, you know, that usually that we pick up in like June, July. They're usually like filler guys. Now, this guy could possibly be just that, camp body, a filler. But this was a guy that I actually liked back in 2016 coming into the draft. Um, I didn't like him as a, as a as first, second, third, or possibly even fourth round pick. But I liked him maybe for possibility for the Lions to actually grab him back in 2016. They ended up not doing it. Um, he ended up going undrafted, actually. Um, his college numbers were pretty good, though. Uh, he went to Arizona, Pac-12 Wildcat, Arizona Wildcat. Six foot four, 262 pounds, 144 tackles, 28 tackles for loss, 14 sacks, and two pass deflects and four, four, four forced fumbles. Four-year stint at Arizona. Uh, like I said, went undrafted. Packers picked him up. Packers had him for about two years. Um... Then they ended up trading him to the Tennessee Titans. Titans had some injuries, had some stuff going on, and they ended up um, giving up a seventh-round pick to Green Bay to get this kid. And um, his, his, his pro numbers are nothing exciting. They're nothing great, but he's got 62 tackles, six tackles for loss, three pass deflects, one fumble recovery, four and a half sacks, and 14 QB hits in three years. Like I said, he's... He's never really acquired a, a big number of, of stats in the NFL. He has started about five games as a professional, um, and that was with Tennessee. Um, but I, I like this kid back in the day. Um, he was a Jaguar. He's been, he's been on five different teams. He, Packers picked him up two years. Titans had him, traded for him, seventh-round pick. Uh, Arizona Cardinals, Jacksonville Jaguars had him, and then... The Detroit Lions picked him up. And then right then and there, you, you see the link right there, Jacksonville Jaguars. Who's our defensive line coach? Coach Todd Wash. So he's probably got, it's, it's the same word, familiarity. Um, Todd Wash knows who he is coming from Jacksonville. That's where Todd Wash came from. And um, he knows who the kid is, and they're taking a shot on him. Now, I'm not saying that this guy is going to come and become a star over here. Got some good size though. He's a tweener, defensive end, outside linebacker. He was actually he played at about 275, 272 in college, and he got himself down to about 260, 261 um, before the combine. Didn't have the greatest combine, but he had really good speed for a defensive end at a 47940. It was like it was top 10 speed at the time. Um, I think it was eighth overall actually. But and then he benched like uh, 24 reps at 225. Um, so he's, he's got a good motor on him, uh, but five years, five teams and <laughs> five teams in five years. So you know what I mean. The guy, he's having trouble linking up to us, holding on to a, a spot on a roster. But uh, and he's not great in coverage. Uh, he's kind of a raw player. He fills up space, guy. Uh, that, that's what he is. But the reason why I I liked him because I thought he was a little bit of a playmaker back in back when he played for Arizona. Um, now, like I said, there's a guy that I don't really, I don't really talk about guys that we pick up in June, July, unless I kind of like him, you know. Um, I'm not gonna, I'm not going to um, cover every single move the Detroit Lions make because, you know what I mean, it's just, it's just sometimes you just don't need to talk about some things. But this one I just kind of liked. Um, he'll be in competition, you know. We already have our outside linebackers. Um, Romeo Aquara is going to be one. His brother, Julian Aquara, Trey Flowers, th those type of guys. This guy's going to be in strict competition with guys like Robert McRae, Charles Harris, who's been a little bit of a bust in, um, in Miami, then went to Atlanta. Uh, got some, he has some um, um, quarterback, getting to the quarterback ability pass rush ability, if you will, and um, Austin Bryant. He's going to be in competition with those type of guys. Now, Robert McRae, I don't think he's going to have any type any type of problem beating out a guy like that. Charles Harris, you know what I mean? I almost feel I almost feel he's kind of like the same kind of player as Harris um, and Austin Bryant. 
they're kind of the same kind of player. We haven't seen too much out of Austin Bryant. I'm a big fan of Austin Bryant, actually. I thought that um, I thought he played better down the stretch last year, and uh, uh, was all, was was he's one of those guys that was just he couldn't quite finish just yet. You know what I mean? He was like getting to the quarterback, putting his hands up, make almost making that play. You could just see that as he's he's right there on the cusp. I like Austin Bryant. I'm, I'm a fan. Uh, Charles Harris, like I honestly don't say that I've seen too much of him. Back in the day, I remember looking at him a lot, but uh, I thought that he was being kind of um, he should be a guy that'd be standing up more. And I think that's what he'll be doing in Detroit. That's why he's going to be in competition with him. Um, the thing with Reggie Gilbert is that he's he's the type of guy that can put his hand in the dirt and he can play stand up. And um, I just like the fact that he can get to the quarterback. And, 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 and I like the fact that he's not going to have a bunch of competition. This is a guy that could possibly crack the roster. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if he did. He's got a little bit of playmaker to him. You know, the tackles for loss I like. Uh, the pass, the fleck, he gets his hands up. The fumble recovery. He's got a nose for the football. And he has a few sacks under his belt. Not a lot, but he has a couple, four and a half to be exact, in the pro level. And 14 quarterback hits. So he causes a bit of disruption. He's a little bit of chaotic. Um, I just kind of like the I kind of like the signing. I think it was a pretty solid signing. And I think it, it's a guy that can possibly make a roster and be a situational pass rusher. Um, I'm not going to say this guy's going to be a superstar or anything like that, but I just think it's a pretty, I think it's a pretty good signing by... Uh, a team looking, a team looking for that edge, a, a team looking for a guy that can get to the quarterback on a consistent level. I think he's going to be a guy that can possibly just may, may, maybe crack that roster and be a situational pass rusher on a third and long, or second and long, whatever it is, whatever it may be on, on passing downs. Um, so I think it was a pretty good signing by Detroit. I think it's a very underrated signing. I'm not saying this guy's going to become superstar over here in Detroit or even make the team but I just think that with the lack of talent I think we have at the outside linebacker position I think he's this kid has an absolute shot to crack the roster and that's it guys uh, thanks for the video don't forget to hit the uh, subscribe button on the bottom right don't forget to um, hit the notification bell get all my videos and don't forget to uh, like and comment it's all about the negative positive feedback I'll get back to you let's go guys boom